Welcome, pilots! This video is part of my guide detailing every high security combat site. While I've been flying a Jaguar for most of the Blood Raider videos, it's simply not a viable ship for this site. For the Blood Raider Psychotropics Depot, you'll likely want to use a battleship or heavy assault cruiser with a strong focus on EM and thermal resists. Combat signatures appear in your probe scanner window, and you must scan them down with probes before you can warp to them. Some combat signatures are referred to as DED rated sites. DED stands for the Directive Enforcement Department, an NPC corporation that is a division of Concord. Such combat sites are given a difficulty rating on a scale of 1 through 10. The Blood Raider Psychotropics Depot is a combat signature found only in low security systems throughout the western regions of Amar space. This includes Iridia, Genesis, the Bleaklands, Kador, Corazor, and Canid. It can only be found in high security space through an extremely lucky escalation from a blood den. This site has a decent potential for some extremely high value loot drops. Only up to battleship class ships will be allowed into the site. The Blood Raider Covenant, although not traditionally associated with drug running, maintains deep ties with the psychotropics trade. Unfortunate test subjects harvested from the Covenant's pirate activities are subjected to a variety of tests using these drugs. The exact purpose of these tests is still unknown. Any Covenant psychotropics depots found should be eliminated. This site has a DED threat assessment of 5 of 10. You'll land directly on an acceleration gate, which you must activate to enter the first room of the site. The Blood Raiders are taking no chances. Instead of just setting up a defense fleet, they've erected a massive defense platform and appointed an exsanguinator to run it. In the first room, you'll land on top of a broadcast tower near a series of structures. The area is guarded by a total of 33 Blood Raider NPCs. The first group is behind the landing beacon, consisting of seven frigates, three cruisers, and a battleship. The second and third groups flank the structures ahead to the left and right, each consisting of seven frigates, two cruisers, a battlecruiser, and a battleship. Much like level 4 missions, a common tactic to avoid the incoming damage is to activate a micro jump drive and pick off the NPCs one at a time outside their range. The acceleration gate to the next room is locked, requiring that all NPCs in the area be destroyed. In the second room, you'll land amongst a series of storage warehouses, each guarded by its own sentry gun. Four separate groups of a total of 33 Blood Raider NPCs surround the area. The first group is behind the landing beacon, consisting of two frigates, a cruiser, three battlecruisers, and two battleships. The second group is off to the left with the same makeup as the first. The third group is off to the right, consisting of a single frigate, a single destroyer, two cruisers, two battlecruisers, and two battleships. And the fourth group is above, consisting of two frigates, a destroyer, two cruisers, two battlecruisers, and two battleships. The acceleration gate to the next room is again locked, requiring that all NPCs in the area be destroyed. In the third room, you'll land near a Blood Raider fortress that's tightly guarded by a group of 28 Blood Raider NPCs, along with a series of towers and missile batteries. You'll quickly be held in place by three powerful Blood Raider stasis towers. The Blood Raider NPCs range from frigates up to battleships, with the Exsanguinator flying a battlecruiser. The incoming damage from the cruise missile towers and battleships in particular can be quite extreme. The Exsanguinator will always drop an 18th tier Overseer's effects, and has a chance of dropping one or more Corpum B-Type Dead Space modules, or a blueprint copy for an Ashimu. I must admit that my level of experience with this site is still fairly low, in part because I have yet to experience an escalation from a den spawn in high security space. I've successfully run it a few times in an Armageddon. And prior to producing this series, I have several Munins stationed out in Iridia that I've used to run this site. The Armageddon is a potential choice for younger pilots, as it requires fewer skill points than the alternatives. This Armageddon fit uses rapid heavy missile launchers and a full drone bay with an active armor tank. It has enough capacitor modules to allow both armor repairs to run indefinitely. It also takes advantage of the recently added battleship roll bonus for armor plates. 
The safest ship is likely a faction battleship like the Rattlesnake, which has extremely high DPS. In high security western Amar space, you can probe down other DED rated sites like the Old Meany Cultivation Center, Blood Raider Human Farm, Blood Raider Intelligence Collection Point, and Malzata Monastery. Note that the Eastern Amar regions have similar combat sites featuring Sancha's Nation NPCs. Other NPC pirates include Rogue Drones, the Serpentas, Garistas, and Angel Cartel. My journey to host a complete set of combat site video guides began in 2020 with a similar 13-part series for Serpentas combat sites. I followed this up with similar series for Garistas and Angel Cartel. If you find yourself outside of Amar space, you can check out those videos right now. If you're curious about fitting ships for combat site exploration, I've been building up a set of guides for several ship classes over on my website at RileyEntertainment.com. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more EVE Online combat site guides, and smash that like button if you enjoy my content.